Welcome to a brand new video here on youtube.com forward slash Manny Emission 24 7. Today, I've been challenged to build something spooky, witchcraft and dark. Let's jump into Minecraft and let's see how far we can go. I've come over to a swamp area and I'm thinking, first of all, we need to remove some trees. The plan is, once all the trees have gone out everywhere, is I'm going to be placing in some extra blocks and whatnot and we're going to be building, first of all, like a spooky house. <laughs> Thank you very much for the sound alert. There's a sound alert from Twitch. Really appreciate it. Anonymous, whoever you are, for the 100 bitties. Really appreciate it. started building and laying down a bit of a footprint here for this whole build that we've got so we're going for a bit of nether brick fences with some cobblestone added in which i'm not entirely sure on that wall at the moment it's coming through my mind on whether i should do right this second currently deciding what i like whether i like to have this nether brick stairs there or whether i like the dark oak stairs or whether I like this band going across or whether I just prefer it cobblestone. I think these actually might have to go. So if you're walking up here, does this make you feel spookified? I like the skellies, they work. So let's work from front to back. So the skellies here, they're good. I like them. going to challenge myself to basically build as much ghoulish type build as much as I possibly can do. I'm rubbish at building trees in Minecraft so if I can build a tree without using the normal bog standard trees that we've got here then I'm doing something good. Right this second, I have just been raided by the wonderful Blazing Cactus underscore. He's an absolute awesome legend. Thank you very much for the raid. Really is appreciating all the people who followed throughout that bit. That's the reason why I've got the cavity ears. But let's just completely ignore that for now. I don't want it to look like it's really overgrown. I don't want it to look really saturated and full of life. I want it to look a little bit dead. Let's look at it at night time with the shaders back on. And let's see what that looks like. That, that is awesome. I love it. So what I've been doing just over the last couple of days is getting myself sorted and getting things going. So as you can see, the tree's now looking good. I've added in the extra path and the extra layout around the area. And because, of course, all these cobwebs are all over the place, it's got to come from something big and massive and really spooky and scary. So my brain went for a spider. I literally searched up spiders and I shivered when I looked up spiders. I hate spiders. <laughs> Don't even ask me to look up. So this was my design as a spider. It worked out well. And then for the back end over here, you can see we've added ourselves like a ghoul mask. One of those Halloween masks that you get at Halloween. I thought that just looks perfect. Let's go for nighttime. Let's go for evening. And the soul lanterns come into their own just over there. That has added tremendous to it. I love it. is I'm spawning or summoning some entities in such as spiders especially spiders at the moment because what we've got is like we've got this mummy spider and everything else covering over the base spider there let's say spider here like because we've got the big king spider that's what I'm going for because it's a king of spiders the spider taking over the whole thing that's what I want so now we've added in the extra spiders and all the mobs I think, if anything, this build is now ready to submit.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click that like button, click that subscribe button, and also follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash manumission247, where I'm going to be doing a lot more of these contents in the near future. Till then, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.